Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at preference shares, but here we're going to focus on the calculation of preference shares. We're going to look at how to calculate the cost of preference shares as well as the market price of preference shares. And we'll do this with the help of a few examples. In our other lessons, we looked at the preference shares and we looked specifically at the types of preference shares. So if you'd like to check that one out, you'll find the link in the description below. But what are preference shares? Preference shares or otherwise known as preferred stock are shares in the equity of an entity which entitles the holder to a fixed dividend amount by the issuing company. This dividend must be paid before the company can issue any dividends to its ordinary shareholders. Now we also looked at ordinary shareholders in our other lessons and we looked at how to calculate the ordinary shares. So you'll find the link to that lesson as well in the description below. If an entity is dissolved, the holders of preference shares are paid back before the holders of ordinary shares. Okay, and we've mentioned that above as well. However, unlike ordinary shareholders, the holders of preference shares do not usually have any voting rights over the affairs of the entity. So what we are saying here in short is that there is a difference between ordinary shareholders and preference shareholders. Preference shareholders receive their dividends first or receive their dues first and they receive this usually every year okay ordinary shareholders do not have to receive it every year and do not have to receive it at all depending on whether the company makes money but it has voting rights which preference shareholders do not as a result of preference shareholders ranking higher in payment priority preference shares are less risky and therefore have a cheaper cost compared to ordinary shares so you can see from this that preference shares are usually cheaper than ordinary shares because ordinary shareholders take more risks because they get paid last while preference shareholders get paid every period okay and they get paid before the ordinary shareholders are paid so they take less risk that is why you'd expect the preference shares to cost less than the ordinary shares okay so let's get into the examples how do you calculate the preference shares well there are two things we're going to look at here how to calculate the cost of preference shares and we're going to look at the formula for calculating the cost of preference shares and the second one is how to calculate the market price of preference shares so what is the cost of preference shares how do we calculate it well here's the formula rp obviously standing for the cost of preference shares which is a percentage you get it by taking the dividend or the return to the preference shareholders divided by the market price per share. So the P0 you are seeing there is the current market price or the market price per share. So you're taking the dividend per share divided by the current market price per share. And here we are looking at preference shares. We're not looking at ordinary shares. So it's good to bear that in mind. Okay. And we'll go through examples to apply this formula here. So you do not have to worry about it. And how do we get the market price of preference shares? What is the formula for calculating that one? Well, you can just see here, we are just switching the formula around. To get the market price of the preference shares, we take the dividend. So you can see the numerator does not change. And we divide that by the required return. And remember the required return here, written as RP. Okay, and that is how we get the market price of preference shares. So let's get into the examples and see how we do these calculations. Let's look at the first one. We are told that a company has 2 million preference shares at 50 cents yielding 10%. With the market price currently 55 cents, what is the cost of preference shares? So here we are asked to compute the cost of preference shares. So here are a few elements that you'll usually be given or you'll usually see in a question where you're asked to calculate what the preference shares cost is or what the preference shares market price is you will be given what it was bought at or what the par value is. So you'll usually be given sometimes like this, where you have preference shares at 50 cents yielding 10%. Okay, so this at 50 cents, this 50 cents here is the par value or the amount at which the preference shares were issued, yielding 10%. Okay, this 10% here is the dividend. Okay, this is not the yield to maturity or this is not the cost of the preference share what we want to calculate here we are asked is the cost of the preference share okay so this 10 percent here is the return that the preference shareholder will be receiving annually okay and we are given obviously the market price and we know the market price is the price at which the preference share is currently trading at okay so it's 55 cents here so what is the first thing that we need to calculate we need to calculate the rent value or the value of the dividend that they'll be receiving because remember in our formula we're starting with the dividend okay 
the cost of the preference share is what we are calculating and we are starting with the dividend which is the numerator so we take the par value multiplied by the percentage that we are given okay so we know that it's preference shares at 50 cents and that is the par value and we are given the 10 percent we are told it's yielding 10 percent so that is the dividend 10 percent and it's 10 percent of what is it the 10 percent of market price or 10 percent of issue price or par value well, it's 10% of par value and it will always be 10% of the par value. So what is the dividend? The dividend there is the 10% times the 50 cents. Okay, 10% times the 50 cents and you can see it gives us 5 cents. That is the dividend that the shareholders will be receiving. Now that we have our numerator, we have our denominator as well. We remember we said that the P0 here is the current market price, which is the 55 cents. So we're going to take the 5 cents dividends divide by the current market price, which is 55 cents, and we will have the cost of preference shares, which in this case is 9.1%, okay, 9.10%, or if you round it down to 9%. That is as easy as how you calculate the cost of preference shares. Now, let's look at more examples in various ways they might, they might ask you how to calculate the cost of preference shares. We are given here that we are, to we are told here that 1 million preference shares trading at one rand 20 cents per share issued at two rand per share with 12 percent per annum fixed rate of interest what is the cost of preference shares okay what is the cost so here again we're applying the same principles we have the formula up here the cost of preference shares equals the dividend divided by the current market price what is the dividend here the dividend is the percentage we are given and we are told it's 12% per annum fixed rate of interest. So that is the percentage they are given every year as interest, okay, or as a dividend. And we multiply that based on the issue price, okay, how much it was initially issued at, okay. And which one is it? You can try and guess. If you guess the 120, you'd be wrong because 120 is the current market price because we are told here trading at to 120 cents per share but if you guessed two rand you'd be correct because it was issued at two rand so you're looking at those keywords here how much was it issued at or what is the par value so they might use par value they might say issued at so it was issued at two rand per share with a 12 percent fixed rate of interest per annum okay so we're going to take the 12 percent that we are given times the issue price of the share which is two rand and it gives us 24 cents which is the dividend per share okay so it's a dividend so we have the numerator what is the denominator it's the current market price and we're told that it's trading at 120 so that is the current market price so it's going to be the 24 cents divided by the 120 current market price of the preference share and it gives us 20 percent so the cost of preference shares is 20 percent you can see it's actually very high and if and the reason it's high is because it was bought at turan but now it has fallen it's now only worth 120 so if it's worth 120 the outlook on the company obviously is low that means i would want a higher return if i'm investing in the company and that's why it's 20 percent that you are given okay i hope it's making sense and i hope you're following along here's a third example okay and what i want you to do here is to pause the video right here and attempt this question before you continue with the video and see the answer okay so you can pause right now and try it Okay, I hope you paused the video and you tried it out. So let's take a look. A company is considering issuing a 10% preference share with a par value of 87 Ren. The, sh current, the share currently sells for 95 Ren and the cost of issuing the share is 5 Ren. What is the cost of the preference share? Okay, so now here we have something new. Okay, so you may have battled to attempt it if you do not know about this one here. We are told here, the new thing that we have here is the cost of issuing the share is 5 Ren. Okay, this is also known as the flotation cost. Okay, the cost of issuing the preference share. So what you do with this one here, we have the numerator, which is the dividend, which does not change. We can calculate that easily. It's the 10% preference share that we're given. So it's the 10% and we have, we have the par value or the issue price of the preference share, which is 87 rand. So we take 10% of 87 rand and it will give us the dividend, which is 8 rand 70 cents. Okay, I hope you got that one correct. Now, what do we do with our denominator, which is the current market price? Well, here's how you do it. You take the current market price and you deduct any issuing cost that you incurred. Okay, 
I will say that again, you take the current market price. Remember that's your usual denominator. If we do not have any issuing cost or we do not have any flotation cost, we'll just take the denominator as the current market price. But if you have the issuing cost and we are told here the cost of issuing the share is five rand or we have what is called the flotation cost, that's the term they might use. Then you'll just take the current market price minus that issuing cost and it will give you your denominator. You see, that's what the one that you'll put here as P0. Okay, so let's do that. We have our current market price, which is, we are told here the share currently sells for 95 Rand and the cost of issuing is 5 Rand. So we'll just take the current market price of 95 Rand minus the 5 Rand cost of issuing the share. And here we have the, denomina the denominator, which is 95 Rand minus 5 Rand. And we have the numerator, obviously, which you calculated is the 8 Rand 70 dividend divided by the sum of 95 Rand minus 5 Rand. And then we get an answer of 9.67%. Okay, now I hope you followed this one along as well and you know what to do with flotation cost or the cost of issuing the share. Let's look at another example over here and I hope you can attempt this one as well before you continue the video so you can pause it and try it and then we can continue along. Okay, I hope you attempted it. Let's look at it. 8% preference shares trading at 30 rand per share issued at 25 rand per share with a flotation cost of 3% per share. What is the cost of preference share? Well, we have the formula up here. We know that the dividend is the percentage that we are given, okay? Multiplied by the par value of the share or how much it was initially issued at. So we are given 8% here and we are told that it was issued at 25 rand. So 8% times 25 rand gives us two rand as the dividend or the annual return to preference shareholders so we have our numerator our denominator we're looking here at the current market price and we're told here trading at 30 rand per share so that's our denominator but we have flotation cost of three percent per share okay so what do you do with this one here same thing we do like with the previous one the previous one we're given the value or the rent amount here we're given a percentage so we're applying the same principle here so you're just going to take the current market price minus the current market price times one minus that percentage of flotation cost okay you can either do that or you can take the current market price times 100 minus three percent and you get 97 percent okay so you're going to take the current market price of 30 rand times the 97 percent and that is how you get it okay so the two rand is the numerator dividend per share divided by the 30 rand and then you open bracket one minus 0 0.03 which is the decimal of three percent and we get the answer of 6.87 percent okay i hope you followed along if you want the denominator and you are given the flotation cost as a percentage then you can take the current market price open bracket one minus that flotation percentage and then you will multiply obviously the two and then you will get the denominator okay otherwise you can take the current market price of the preference share times 100 percent minus three percent and you should get your answer Okay, 6.87%. Obviously, that's very low in practical sense. Okay, if you're thinking of investing in a company, you see 6.87%. I mean, that's extremely low. But obviously, this, are, this is just an example that we are doing. Okay, let's look at the last example over here. We are told that the company is considering issuing a 10% preference share with a par value of 850 rand. The cost of the preference share is 8.5%. What is the market price per share? And you can see here what's different between this one and the previous examples. Here we are given the cost of the preference share, which is 8.5%. We are asked to calculate the market price per share, okay, which we were given in all the other examples. So remember the second formula I showed you, the current market price per share equals to the dividend, okay, that does not change because the numerator, divided by the required return or the cost of preference share. Okay, so what is our dividend? Well, we are given here 10% preference share with a par value of 850. Okay, so we obviously multiply the 10% times the 850 to get our dividend and it's 85 rand. Okay, that's the dividend. And what is our denominator? It's obviously the required return, which is the 8.5% cost of preference share. So if we take the 85 rand divided by the denominator, which is 8.5%, we get the current market price of a preference share of 1000 rand okay and that is how you calculate the cost of the preference share and the market price of a preference share i hope you followed along 
through these examples and i hope it was clear enough and i hope you have gained value from these lessons if you have please comment down below and if you have any queries you can comment down below as well and if you have indeed gained value please subscribe to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers